What's going on everybody? It's the Hook Cam back again with another film breakdown. Uh, this time I'm going to take a look at Gardner Minshew and kind of his uh, explosion onto the scene here in the NFL. Um, I just tried to watch a Peter King breakdown of Gardner Minshew and threw up in my mouth. So I'm going to break this stuff down and show you guys why he's not just a gunslinger, why he's reading coverages right, why he's throwing the right routes, and what the Jags are doing to help him out. Before I get into that, if you guys could drop a like and hit that subscribe button, it would help me tremendously. You guys know I hate saying that. It's corny as hell, but it really does help me out, really does help grow the channel. So with all that being said, let's dive into some film. All right, fellas. Uh, one thing I loved about what the Jaguars offensive coach staff did on Thursday was they did a great job of giving 15 easy uh, easy coverages to read as far as what they were putting the defense in and they also did a good job of giving them easy pass concepts so what I'm trying to say with this is with this play right this is essentially a three-man route between the back and the two receivers what we're going to get out of number two is we're going to get a deep curl what we're going to get out of number one is a post corner now Gardner Minshew has to read two things on this play he has to read the safety, and he, has to read, and he has to read the corner's leverage. Okay, so watch on this play as we give the run action. Back's going to leak out into the flat. Clearly, it's cover one, right? Clearly, it's cover one out of the Titans. It's either one or three, and you know right away that it's one, okay? So we give the run action. Now, right here, Gardner Minshew is reading the safety to see where he goes, but he's also taking a peek at this corner. Okay, so right now we can see, okay, hey, safety isn't flying over the top of the field. He's staying pretty true to this deep curl. So the deep curl runs right there. Great. Now, the second thing that 15 is looking at is corner's hips. See how the corner's hips are turned toward the, toward the line of scrimmage, right? Now we know that this receiver can break this post corner back out towards the sidelines. And 15 can put this ball vertically toward the sideline where only his receiver can get it. Now we can't throw it too far to the sidelines because then we'll get a close on it. He can't throw it back either because A, that's not the route, and B, we got a guy underneath in coverage. So he puts this ball up top vertically toward the toward the sideline where only his guy can get it. It's a good ball. It's a good completion. And it's a, uh, a big time play from 15. All right, fellas, second touchdown on the day that I really like from Gardner Minshew. Uh, we're inside the uh, 25 here. Some teams define that as the Renzo. Not all of them call it just from the 20 in. Um, you know, we're in clear cover one here out of the Titans. Very clear cover one. So what Minshew has to do on this, right, and what all we're getting from the Jaguars before I go into what 15 is looking for, all we're getting from the Jaguars is we're getting um, essentially a deeper slant, not quite a post, but a deeper slant from 12. Okay, um, and then we're getting a vertical at the bottom and we're getting a vertical at the top. Yeah. A good co cover one beater. Reason being why I like this is because it puts this dude in a bind. And if either of these two corners get smoked, then you've got an easy completion for, in this case, a touchdown. Right? So as we watch this thing from the top, what 15 is going to do is he's going to stare down this safety. Okay? He's going to stare him down. See? And just that little bit of staring at 31 makes him backpedal and it gives this cat an advantage right so watch here again as he drops back he's taking a look at the safety he's going to flip his eyes quickly to this number one receiver right then he's just going to put some air under this thing and again this is a dime from Minshew. this is a dime right but it all starts with his eyes He's not just out there slinging the ball around like Peter King made it sound like in his stupid film breakdown. I hate to rip on him, but it's true. Okay? He's making calculated decisions and throwing a great deep ball. This is the reason why he got drafted. Yeah, he was a sixth rounder, but he slung the rock around at Washington State. Look what the eyes does at 31. Right? He's staring right at 31, and if you saw from the end zone film, it delays him just a little bit. Now, with this ball, it could be a little bit more out in front, but again, you don't want to throw it too far out in front where the corner can make a play. You also want to throw it a little bit more towards this pylon because that's the most difficult spot for a guy to make a play on this thing. All right, he could have thrown it. Yes, he could have thrown a little bit more out in front, but again, he put it in a spot where only his receiver can get it. Um, he trusts him. He practices with him every day. He knows what's catchable and what's not. But again, really good ball from 15. Good job from 17 fighting that thing off and making a play. And again, this he, Minshew's not just slinging the rock around. He knows what he's doing. He's taking calculated risks. He's reading defenses. He's a great job with his eyes on this play, and he definitely deserves praise for having a hell of a night last Thursday. His next play here, and arguably my favorite throw from last Thursday. Okay, so again, we're inside the red zone-ish here. Um, you can kind of classify it as that. But what we're going to get again from the Titans is cover one. Okay, but now the, their adjustment, instead of him playing at like 15, they've got him back here almost with his heels at the goal line. 
okay what we're gonna get out of the Jags this is the concept side down at the bottom we're gonna get a slant and we're gonna get a fade right an end zone fade right he's running this thing to that corner pylon um, this is probably my favorite throw from Gardner Minshew on Thursday Okay, really good job here again. See what he's doing with his eyes. This is what's making him be able to complete these balls or at least get him in the ballpark. Okay, with his eyes immediately, he's looking to this backside, right? And watch what this does to the safety. Safeties freezes and he just has that one step to the safety's left, right? To the offense's right. But that's all you need. That's all you need, right? And then he puts this ball in the bread basket. That should be a catch 10 times out of 10. Okay, but again, watch what he does with his eyes as he flashes to the right, looks back to the left. He knows he's got 12 open, and he puts that right where you need it to, man. In between the corner and the safety, right in the bread basket. Only his guy can get it over the shoulder. It's dropping in, and 12 drops it. 12 drops it, right? That hurts. That hurts as a quarterback. But you know what? As a, as a coach looking at this, there's a ton of positive signs coming out of you. Right, look, again with the eyes, flash into his right, looks back to his left, the quick fade, it's right there, man. This last play from uh, Gardner Minshew's Big Time Thursday game. Um, you know, it, the thing that I love about this play is really the importance of it. Third down and 10, about 10 minutes left in the fourth quarter. Um, big down, right? You need this conversion or else you're punting. Uh, if you get this first down, obviously fresh set to work with, and you're also probably looking at at least a field goal. So what we're going to get from the concept side here is a deep out from 80 and a deep curl from number 12 or 17, I believe. Okay, but what I like about this, again, it's the eyes of Minshew and it's the anticipation on this curl. Not an easy ball to throw. Okay, not an easy ball to throw against, especially against this Titans defense, right? Um, really good route, by the way, from 17, breaking that thing off in front of the sticks, so that way you're not having to run for yards after. Um, but again, the anticipation puts this thing right on the money, a little bit to the sideline, right where you want it. Um, so again, 15 looked really good. Big time down, and that's really what I like more from this is, is the importance of it, right? And on top of that, the Titans are rolling into a cover three, so he's throwing away from that roll. Really good job by him. Um, but again, the timing on this one and the importance of this down is, I think, what separates it. Uh, he's also getting some pressure there. Good pickup by Leonard Fournette. So anyway, guys, I'm the Hook Cam. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Um, you know, I kind of made this as in like I was watching the Peter King one, and I was like, this is absolute trash. And people need to know why 15 was as good as he was last Thursday. So um, I really hope that he continues his success. I love watching him. He seems like a great guy. I um, hope you, like I said before, hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like and hit that subscribe button. Um, but that's all I got for you guys today, and I'll see you next time.